Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Ellie and I'm a student midwife and today I'm going to be showing you everything I have in my bag for placement. I really hope you find this video useful. If you do, please hit that like button and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. So, it's been a while since I've done a video like this and when I made it originally, um, I was using a different bag. Um, I found this new one a lot more practical and so I've just thought, you know what, might as well just give you guys a little updated version. Okay, so this is the bag. It's the Nordace Sienna backpack. It's amazing. It is expensive. I got it as a birthday present last year. I was going to use this as my uni, like, going to lectures bag and then the Kakidston one for placement. But um, I started to use this one and it was just so much better because there's a huge compartment which I'll take everything out and show you um, in a bit. There's just compartments absolutely everywhere and then there's a section at the back where I keep my um, my Mora, so I'll show you that in a moment as well. It's got a little drinks holder at the side, it's got a little port so that you can charge your phone. So if you get a um, power bank, oh I don't, oh here. So I got this one, I think it was from Argos, it's a Samsung one. And if there's like a cable that goes inside anyway, if you plug it to that, then you can have your phone charging from there. So it's not getting like tangled in the zip. Um, it's just a lot better. And there's loads of different like pockets in the main bit and stuff. So I will now show you what's inside. First of all, important things um, that I have in my bag are my lunchbox and this obviously goes at the sides a bit like I showed you earlier but a water bottle very very essential then I've got stuff like deodorant like a smaller one that's just a bit easier to fit in um, I've got my my notepad look how cute my notepad is it's a little 3d one <laughs> but these are so important I cannot stress to you how important a notepad is when I watched these kind of videos before I started, everyone said a notepad. I was thinking, meh, am I going to use it? You use it. Um, <laughs> I brought a mini fan for the summer. I've not actually used it yet. By the time I come to use it, it'll probably be so crushed that I can't. Um, but yeah, I got that. My student midwife lanyard. So um, your placement hospital will want you to have a certain lanyard. They will give you one. And some hospitals give you different kind of ones, but... Yep, this is my lanyard, so I have that. And normally I have my um, key card attached to it. I won't show you my other side because that's got my picture, which is horrible, and the writing on it, but normally I have it clipped to this. Um, but I've been on Labour Ward recently, so it's been easy to have it like that because you don't use your lanyard on there because of infection control. Pens. This is the last one I've got. Um, and this has been to hell and back, to be honest. This pen is, it's lasted a few days. I've actually held on to this pen. Um, I did have a million. They have all disappeared. Bob watch. Um, I would say the silicon ones are better than the uh, ones with the links, like the chain link things, because they're so much easier to clean. And I think they're just nicer. So it's not an issue if you have the Lynx ones. I do, and I still quite like them, but especially for the ward areas, I think these silicone ones are a bit better. I've got a little mini body spray. It's very, very handy. Um, just little things like lip balm, hand cream, just on the off chance that I'm actually going to need it because it can really ruin your day if you're like needing them. Um, <laughs> Just little tablets. If you don't need them, someone probably will. A million, uh, a million kind of bubbles. <laughs> oh, I've got another one of my fob watches in here. Um, this one's actually from my goddaughter, um, and it's got a little message on it. So you can get some with like engravings and they're really cute. So I do sometimes uh, use this one. Um, then I have my ID card thingy that I just wear on my uniform. 
Um, oh, some plasters in case you get blisters or anything. Nice stethoscope. So um, this is so handy. I think I've mentioned it in another video that sometimes people will say don't get a stethoscope and sometimes people will say get one. I would say it's just so much better to have your own. You will have to occasionally use ones that's lying around because it's a bit easier if you've not got it on you all the time, but they're just so much better. And you don't have to get a Lippmann. Um, you could literally, I've got one from Amazon that was like £20 that came with a blood pressure kit, and that is just as good to be honest. Um, so yeah, some snacks. <laughs> Um, I got this when I joined the Royal College of Midwives. It was a vaginal examination little booklet. Um, and you kind of see like how many centimetres dilated and different positions. I just thought it was handy to have in my bag now. I'm on labour ward. Um, some spare socks, just in case you need some spare socks. Oh my gosh, another pen. Oh, made my day. Some pads, just because... Um, you never know if you or someone else is going to need one, so it's just handy. Ah, oh, another pen! I think my bag is just producing them now. Phone charger, 10p. Um, <laughs> a crumpled up mask. I probably need to get rid of that. Um, and another bubble. But then there's the section for the Mora. So I brought this um, cover for it from WH Smith for like two pounds and it's literally saved my book's life. So this is um, the book where you will have the, oh, all of your like proficiencies signed off in and things like that. So it's really important. There's a million and 10 pages and um, you have to have it with you all the time. So I needed a compartment that will keep it safe, not get squashed and also something good to carry it in so that's that so then I normally have a prettier handbag for this uh, but since I did labour ward you wear scrubs so the only thing I needed to take was my shoes so I, I didn't really need a big bag but normally I have um I can't find it but like um you know if you go to the shop and get a bag for a pound and they're quite thick um and they've got like cute designs on them, like flowers and stuff. I normally use that to take my um, uniform in and my shoes. And um, just because it's easier when you get changed to just have a, like one big bag. And then I have a carrier bag for my shoes and a carrier bag for my uniform. Um, so I can just arrange it like that. Um, but I only need to take my shoes, so I only take this. So your placement shoes and your uniform if you need it. So that's pretty much everything that I take. I will do a little snapshot of everything laid out so you can see. So this is everything that I take just kind of laid out. And then I'll be able to show you in here. So I've got the power bank in there. That's the lead that it comes with, that like the bag comes with. I've got a compartment down there. Got a nice zip up uh, compartment there, loads of other bits down there, then nice big, um, this is also really good for laptops, um, I think my old laptop was like 15.6 inches and that fit in there like quite snug, so um, that was a really good point about that bag as well, and there's just yeah little bits and bobs <laughs> everywhere for it. So, yeah. If you want to find out where I got any of the other little bits and bobs, you can always ask. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button to see more content of mine. Also, I've got a midwifery Instagram account, Ellie's Journey to Midwifery. So give that a follow as well because I post more regularly on there. And I hope you have a great day.